When we assume the reins of leadership of our dear country, this administration launched a zero oil economic roadmap as a way of making our country less dependent on oil while encouraging investments in other sectors of the economy, particularly agriculture. I am happy that Governor Hayade keyed into that policy and has today become one of the reference points in our agricultural revolution effort. Our gathering here today is no doubt a determination woven through to precision and a glowing testament to the fact that the policy is working. Indeed, this factory speaks loudly about the giant strides we are making in agriculture as a country. When we preserve seeds the way we do preserve right now, the problem is that when you, pro when you preserve seeds for too long, gradually it will lose its potency and capacity to germinate because of the increased level of abscisic acid. In addition to that, growth hormones like cytokinins and gebrelins will start to attenuate. And ultimately, what you have is an unviable seed. As they sell these seeds to our farmers, the farmers take unproductive seeds with low yield into the market. So our parents toil in the sun day and night with ineffective seeds. Ultimately, we'll get 1.3 tons per hectare, 2.3 tons per hectare. And so it becomes unacceptable for people to go into farming. With your initiative and drive, it became very, very catalytically clear that we needed to change and bring agriculture to a digital age and levels. It is against that background that Cross River State, under my watch, based on your advice, focus on automated rice seed and seeding factory. 